I'm Anil Kumar and here are two questions from your practice test, true or false. Determine whether each conjecture is true or false. If false, give a counterexample. Now it should be your practice to provide counterexample even if not asked for. The question here is, if segment AB plus segment CD is equal to segment AD, then B and C are between A and D. Is it true or false? If it is false, provide a counterexample. The next one here is, if angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles, then angle 1 and angle 2 form a linear pair. Is it true or false? You can pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestion. Let's begin with the first one. So we have two different segments, A, B, and C, D. Let us say these are our segments, A, B, and then we have a segment, C, D. Okay, let's make one, segment C, D. Now, let us say that is A, this is B, and then we have C and D, for example. Okay, now if length of AB is, let us say, 3 centimeters or 3 units, and that of CD is 2 units, 3 plus 2 is 5, and if I connect A and D, and let us say this length connecting A and D is 5, in that case, the measurement of these segments, both sides will be equal, right? 3 plus 2 will be 5. But clearly you can see that that does not prove that point B and C are between A and D, right? They could be anywhere, right? So there could be many different ways of sketching it, but it will not be true, right? So most of the cases you'll find that this statement is false. Even if you provide one counterexample, it is enough to show that this statement is false. So this statement is false. How about the next statement? It says if angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles, then angle 1 and 2 are linear pairs. Now in case of linear pairs, as we know, they should be joined together, right? So linear pairs have adjacent angles. That is a linear pair where angle 1 and angle 2 will be supplementary. But how about having angles which are not joined together? For example, this angle and this angle. Now, these two angles are also supplementary. Let's say these angles are 3 and 4. These angles are also supplementary. But they don't form a linear pair since they do not have a common arm, right? Since they are not, they should have common arm. They are not adjacent angles, right? So it is important to understand that linear pair means they have a common arm, right? They are adjacent angles. As far as the supplementary angles is, we are only looking for some, whether they form a linear pair or not, right? So both 1 and 2 are supplementary angles, 3 and 4 are supplementary angles. First one forms a linear pair, but not the other one. So this is a counterexample, and therefore we can say that the statement is false. I hope that is clear. Thank you, and all the best.